40 number definitely has the power to seduce. Volkswagen has given the car a complete visual and technical makeover. The front of the Scirocco changed as well. We got new headlines, they're a bit smaller and a bit slimmer. We got a new grille and we got that one new as well. So the whole car looks a lot deeper to the ground. The rear, lit exclusively with LED lamps, has also been revamped. The VW badge is not just for looks, it has a practical function. It can be swiveled and used as a handle to open this stylish tailgate. The lines of the new Sirocco have become sharper, more robust and more precise. Soft edges have been brought into line in a striking fashion. Just like the Golf GTI before it, the Sirocco also consciously plays the sporty car. This applies to its external design as well as the interior. Here we can expect as standard among other features, sports seats, a leather sports steering wheel, air conditioning and hill start assist. The high performance sound system Dynaudio Excite was developed specifically for the Sirocco. The interior of the Sirocco has changed as well. We got new colors and we got a new dashboard, it's the one from the GTI, and we got a new steering wheel, the one from the GTI as well, and we got some new instruments up here. We can see the oil temperature, we can see the pressure of the turbo, and we also have a lap timer. The complete engine redesign is a result of years of hard research and development. All four petrol engines and both of the diesels have one thing in common. They're more powerful than their predecessors, yet still manage up to 20% more economy. You can choose between two turbo diesel engines with 150 or 184 brake horsepower and four turbo direct injection petrol engines starting at 125 and going up to 280 bhp in the new Sirocco R. All of the new Sirocco models attain top speeds of more than 124 miles per hour. The top of the range model, with the R on the back, can go 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds and tops out at 155 miles per hour. The fact that the additional power is so well delivered, exactly where you most need it, is down to the clean design of the chassis. It's streamlined and comfortable at the same time. The steering is precise and responsive, ensuring safety in the event of any surprises. The new version of the Sirocco really works, but not just because of its great new looks, it's more powerful and more economical than ever before. The coupe is a very attractive prospect for all those drivers who enjoy a compact and agile sports car that's well. The exterior design of the new i20 coupe has come in for particular praise and has been awarded the Red Dot Award. Key features include the modern front hexagonal grille and headlights with integrated LED daytime running lights. the side, the wheel arches feature 16 or 17 inch alloy rims. The dynamic appearance of the car is supported by the noticeably lowered roofline. At the back, the LED tail lights dominate, sweeping through the shoulders of the rear and blending into the sides. The engine of our i20 coupe is a 1.4 litre four cylinder petrol engine that delivers 100 brake horsepower and only 135 newton meters of torque. But the car is quite light, it only weights a little bit above a ton. Soon, the i20 coupe will also be available with a 1 litre three cylinder turbo engine, available in two power outputs of 100 or 120 brake horsepower. Hyundai promises very good fuel economy, combined with improved performance for both versions. If you're looking for more torque and a particularly economical engine, the Hyundai Coupe can also come as a diesel. The seats of the i20 are comfortable, but a little too soft for a more sporty coupe. The interior is convincing, as you would expect from the i20's five-door sibling. The interior of the new i20 is modern and clean. Everything is where you expect it and it's all well made. Very important for me, I'm a tall person but I fit perfectly into the car. So keep that in mind, even when you're tall, the small i20 coupe works perfectly. Hyundai emphasized the modern presentation of their fleet of vehicles and so even the i20 coupe has a variety of modern assistance and safety systems such as brake assist, cruise control and hill start assist on board. Hyundai have also convinced with the i20's boot, with a load space that goes from 336 to a maximum of 1001 litres, the coupe does not need to fear comparison with its German rivals. 
Having the 100 brake horsepower petrol engine on board combined with a manual gearbox, yes, our i20 coupe is not a race car, but you can drive it quite sporty and on our German motorways we drove it 180 km per hour without big noise in the interior. And also the fuel consumption is fine. It took only about 6 liters per 100 km while we do our test drives. The i20 Coupe scores well in its class, with modern features of visual appeal, interior space and good economy. The base price of the new i20 Coupe is €16,450, but